Hey, how's everybody doing? Just wanted to do a little quick review of the new display for the VSAT 9, 10, and 11. One of the first things I hope people notice is the lay down trigger style. You all know with the stock display and trigger that you have the brake lever and the trigger level is at a weird angle. This new style trigger allows you to lay it down flat if that's what you choose and to be able to bring your front brake lever up to almost level as well. I'm not real comfortable with it like that, but I am more comfortable with the trigger laying down flat. The brake lever is definitely easier to reach. That's an awesome design that nobody's talking about with this display. Another thing I'd like to talk about is there's a light right here and it changes from red to green to blue to purple. That light serves no for function at all other than aesthetics. Um, although I will say it does help at night because you're used to having a display right here that's got light. So you know where to reach your finger up and pull the trigger. Well, with this light right here, it does make this trigger right here a little more visible. So I don't know if that's the reason they put it there, but I do like it. But other than that, it serves no function. It looks cool as hell at night, though. And then the display, you can see I'm down here at my local river. The sun is shining. And you can see, even in the direct sunlight, with the sun reflecting right off of it, very easy to read during the daytime. Even through my tinted shield, I can still see it. Well, that in itself makes it worth you know, the money this thing costs. You can see you've got your local trip, your voltage. The battery indicator is pretty accurate with the voltage display. I've had no problems with it at all. The trigger seems like it's easier to modulate. Again, I just can't emphasize enough on the lay down the lay-down design that they created here is such a huge improvement. Obviously, for you guys that have the VSET 10 with the nut brakes on them that don't have the hydraulic reservoir up here on top, the old display was probably never a problem with the trigger, but for us guys that have the zoom brakes or the VSET brakes, yeah, the, it was an uncomfortable split between your finger grabbing the trigger and grabbing on the brakes. You'll notice how my display powered right up without an NFC card. It does come with three NFC cards programmed. I can't stand them. Um, I think they're more of a gimmick. Uh, so I went in and disabled the NFC card reader. I've asked around on Facebook. Nobody seemed to know how to do it. So let me just go ahead and put it out there for everybody, for you guys that are like me that just think they're a load of crap. Um, you go into your P settings, go to P18, where you'll add a new NFC card. You can also take them away. So go to P18, press and hold the minus button, and it doesn't matter whether it's on this display or the old display. Hold it for about five seconds, and you'll see 003 go to 000. At that point in time, power off the display and power it back on. And there it is, no more NFC card needed which I think is awesome. I can't stand the NFC cards. I wouldn't leave this scooter out in public, and I damn sure wouldn't trust it to just an NFC card. If I'm leaving it out, it's locked up. Um, it's too nice of a scooter just to leave unattended. Um, if you guys got any questions, go ahead and feel free to shoot them. I'll get back to them as soon as I can. Uh, the display is currently available at Alien Rides. Super fast shipping. Cost me about $160 for the display and the trigger. Well worth every penny. I'd have probably paid double. Um, just given the fact that I don't have to use my phone for a display anymore during the day. And the lay down trigger style. Um, I know if you have a Dualtron scooter. They sell an aftermarket piece that will allow you to lay their triggers down and display as well. A 90 degree angle um, the fact that this comes that way 
is just absolutely amazing. Change your gears from this and this up and down. You can also change your gears from here. The P settings are all the same. Hold your positive and your negative at the same time for about three seconds to enter into P settings. Um, I don't know. Honestly, can't say enough good things about this display. It's worth every penny. Now, if you guys are even considering it, just go ahead and grab it. Like I said, it does work for the 9, 10, and the 11. Alien Rides tested it on the 11, and it works just fine. So, I don't know, new display. I guess it's to compete with the Cabo display. Not quite as nice as the Cabo display, but, you know, way nicer than what we had on our V-Set line. I'll take it. Just ordered one for my 9 Plus as well. Can't wait till it comes in. All right, guys, you have a good one.